Sable Incorporated. After hours. Hello and welcome to YouTube's least requested room tour video. I just really want to quickly get on here and say I'm struggling a little bit to get my true personality out through Aww. YouTube videos. I feel like I'm at my funniest with other people when I'm riffing off their jokes. I figured a room tour would give you a glimpse into my perfect, beautiful, kind-hearted, empathetic, sweet mind palace. And I think it shines through the decorum. So let's get into it. Yes, I'm a feminist, but I also have boundaries. So the very first thing you see when you walk into my room is my man cave sign. It's actually a reference to one of my favorite shows, Soul Opposites. This confuses a lot of people. I like to keep people on their toes. Here is a almost 360 view of my room. It's very square but I kind of dig the shoebox vibe. On the back of my door, I have this tarot poster. I will admit a lot of the decor in my room is very mixed aesthetics, I guess you could say, and I absolutely am a poser. I don't know anything about tarot cards. Across my closet doors, I have these mini flags. I'm pretty sure I took them from the past tenant from my last flat, so I don't know if she's wanting those back, but you know, <laughs> tough luck girl, you left her behind. Here is the view outside my window. I absolutely grinded for this view. It's so gorgeous just to wake up to. I'm just fucking kidding. It's a poster on my door. Here's the other poster on my door. If you're sensitive to chipmunks storing away for winter, maybe look away from this closet section. Oh my god, what is wrong with me? I feel like it's cheating as well. Like the rest of my room is really neat and tidy and I keep it neat and tidy. What the hell is this? I can't even open the drawers in my chest of drawers. Nothing makes sense in here. I don't want to talk about it. Moving on, we have my nightstand. I like to treat my nightstand like a museum exhibit. I have my Momo bunny here. Guess how much this cost? It was $25. Um, not good, but it's cute. My salt lamp. I haven't licked it even once because I have self-control, I'm not an animal. My incense holder, my singular earplug, who knows what the second one is. And then I have the star little jewelry holder, I love this thing. These are some of my favorite pieces, my favorite ring probably. It will turn my fingers green, but for now. These star earrings, these heart earrings, I love my nightstand. Here we have a thing my boyfriend got me actually, my favorite like crystal piece. So fucking cute, bro. Moving on, we have the centerpiece of my room, a core piece of my identity, a still from the Barbie Diaries movie. I'm pretty sure my sister just slipped that to me one day and now it's on my wall. I have these architecture type graphic design posters. I don't know, I just collect them. They're so cute. They're like two bucks from my local bookstore. fortune I got when I was in California for the first time. Over here I have a print of a frozen margarita recipe. Take notes. This is super vulnerable of me to say but sometimes I draw and listen none of it is original. None of it comes from my brain. These are all Pinterest inspired so if you see your art out there I'm so sorry. Here is my cat poster. She's so cute. Here is my paint by numbers. Just some of my artwork I have on my walls. Oh my god, don't look at that. I don't know why I included that clip. That's so ugly. I'm sorry. Just some Pinterest photos I printed out ages ago. <sighs> More drawings. Wow. I'm not great at it. Then we have my Let's Plant a Magical Garden. Stephen Rhodes, I would die for you. Your artwork's amazing. I'm a huge fan. Here is the reason my room looks so square. My bed is like that way. That's my rug <laughs> that I got. Anyways, it makes my room super square looking. So I, it's only myself to blame. Here's my bed. Testing it out. Yep, it hurts my back. Here's another piece of artwork I have hanging up. A lot of just little things from magazines or poster shops or little like gift shops my nightstands are fucking disaster i'm not even gonna pretend that this is cute to look at i have a few perfumes over here my fake lashes from my last video please watch my last video i <laughs> i filmed that tears in my eyes just a bunch of knickknacks in this to be quite honest my old belly button ring i have like three lockets 
That's kind of awesome. Yeah, I keep my jewelry up on this hanger, my headband when I do my makeup to push my hair out my face, and just a lot of collected jewelry over the years. I love my earring collection, to be honest. I have these sword earrings, these ice cream earrings. Listen, I don't wear these <laughs> jewelry pieces that often, as you can imagine, but I appreciate it. Moving down, we have my makeup slash hair products slash perfume, little compartment, skincare, my cellar water and my moisturizer. I have about mm, a dot left in there. I have my hair wax, I guess you could say. All of my makeup's in these two little baskets. I am not an overconsumer. This is all I need. Down here is my shell collection. It's a work in progress. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Don't look at those. Ew. My shoe collection. It's not as big as I like it. I have my everyday sneakers. I have these shoes that make my feet bleed. Very cute though. My naked wolf knockoff boots. They're amazing, to be honest. Who needs naked wolf? Is it naked wolf? I feel like I'm tripping. My Doc Martens and my Demonias. These are featured in so many videos and I keep gasping every time I see them. I'm sure you keep gasping. Look at them. My clothing rack is reserved strictly for my knitwear. Here's my Harley Davidson poster I keep behind it. This is how I imagine Harry Styles feels every single day, except I actually own these pieces. Haha, <laughs> Harry. This is my extensive knitwear collection. Also on this rack I have my singular alternative dress, it's from Widow. I love this dress so much, it's so like form fitting. Above my sliding door outside I have this little H2O inspired, I wouldn't even know what to call it, it's definitely not Dream Badger, that's my outdoor view. Here is the other side of my room, my room planner, what? My year planner, what is wrong with me? This is my minerals poster, my laptop. I think this shows my true personality, uh, my Daria, centerpiece, six ad world, women want me, fish fear me, I love pooping in the woods, Sanrio, everything you need to know about me is on the back of this, so take notes. My desk chair is ugly. I love this shaky little desk with everything in me. I have all these little knickknacks on it, my ballet shoes, eight dollars, exposed, whatever, my lamp, my touch lamp, hello guys, touch, touch. My affogato calendar. Yeah, I said affogato. It's because I've worked in an Italian restaurant before and it was terrible. Thank you very much. I have these little candle holders. I have my petrified wood from Queensland, Australia. Take a good geese. My incense holder. This speaks volumes. Look at them. This is one of my favorite crystal purchases I've ever had. Um, it's definitely oxidizing, but it's cute as hell. My power shell. My eggnog candle, my Koromi, my forbidden drink. When I said my closet was the worst part of my room, I would argue this comes close. My desk makes no fucking sense. I have not a clue what are in these bins and I didn't really want to try. My assorted journals and diaries. Yeah, honestly, I was struggling to show you what was on there. I don't even know myself. Here's some more wall art. My drawings, very vulnerable. This is so disgustingly ugly, but I keep it up anyways because it's funny. This is capturing my vibe, my future, my destiny. Just a few more Pinterest stolen drawings. Down here is very important, so please pay close attention. I make mini models. This one's a home office. Oh, these are all like from a set, by the way. I'm not that creative. My mini models are so important to me. This cat is so important to me. Look at it. Look at it. It gives me joy every fucking day of my sad little existence. My little flower shop. Down here we have my book holder. I have this illustrations book. I don't look at it, but it's fucking fun to flip through, right? My next book is my impressionist paintings in the Louvre. I also don't look at that. That's way too much art history, okay? 
This book I got is the Radical History of 80s and 90s Teen Fiction. I'm excited to dive in. Again, I haven't read that book. These two magazines I have looked through. I keep them mostly for decor. And then I have my prehistoric life. That is my Bible. I've read every single word. Behind my mirror, would you believe it? More stolen Pinterest art. I'm genuinely sorry if this is your work. Then I have my beloved gift. I think this painting is probably the best present I've ever got in my life. I felt so seen. It's a reference from Two Kind Birdie. This is my room at nighttime. This is my after hours. This is me just having a ball all the time. This is why I think everyone actually cares about my room or like would enjoy hanging out in my room is because I've decorated it specifically to look good at night. I'm a little bit of a night owl and you can tell that the lights really just bring the whole thing together. No vibes please. Alright, that's it guys. Bye.